I'ma do it like this You can do it for that, I'ma do it for this You can do it to stack, I'ma do it cause rap and hip hop is what I'm walking You can do it like that, I'ma do it like this You can do it for that, I'ma do it for this You can do it to stack, I'ma do it cause rap and hip hop is what I'm walking yeah, this what I'm talking about Born to ignore your route Got the form of a storm in your town Take it force till I'm off beyond your clouds The bounce to roar your jaw on the floor Every time the kick pounds So embrace the pain I'm ready for rain Ready to rain on my terrain You gotta terrain your brain Follow a lyrical wizard Flickering it like a lizard Hold on to your gimmicks are given Take a red pill to reconsider the limit Yeah I'll drop some stank on ya Rap so glorious, extra terrestrial When you a foe in the sky So bright at night, you wait to the light To try fight the shine of MD on his grind Maybe I'm overzealous Why you gotta be jealous? Tell us, got you feeling apprehensive It may better your wellness Cause I don't need shellfish And I don't need no pigs But I will shoot to kill any animal With these spells quick You can do it like that I'ma do it like this You can do it for that I'ma do it for this You can do it to stack I'ma do it cause rap and hip hop is what I'm walking You can do it like that I'ma do it like this You can do it for that I'ma do it for this You can do it to stack I'ma do it cause rap and hip hop is what I'm walking MD a bomb threat No Saddam Hussein I'm butane A collective Of the most dangerous humans Inhumane Maybe why I only got a few mates Keep going Trajectory of a crusade Underground With the sound Coming from my mouth It's like a pound Getting distributed in the south I tip my crown and bow When I'm on stage In front of crowds Spreading like you can't see past I don't dim down You tearing up I'm tearing up in your face You dead Still I'm dead Ill spitting disease You can't be saved From cradle to the grave A renegade No labels with the base Allowing me to get away Easily my easel Built like a steeple To keep you Solid and form Bringing you back To the ancient people Yeah Before homo sapiens Talking like Gracing them Like you turned to Christ twice Now you hearing them again As I jig to the I'm the jig to the game, a freak elite Flipping pages, getting wage up, I tip the heat Over and over again, I'll burn you like margin steam The margin between you and me, SS3 My switches, uh, traditional You a gidget, I stand unlike a midget talk Uh, confessional, uh, predictable Interstellar, I'm living like I'm tripping Multi-dimension, uh, what you got? I'm hot, dropping shots on tabletops Wavy, flavored like hot pops, so tasty Like herb, don't take the tarts with words So flavorsome, Portuguese and Asian So take the noodles Fun and gravy, don't play me, I'm hazy Navigating through space daily Elevating my soul with power over the damage I've been taking Slowly they flicking off like gold member skin Feeling no like I've survived worldly collisions with Extraterrestrials, best we don't go down the rabbit hole Cause yes, y'all think I'm crazy, I digress We all know alien folk ain't really all controlling us But if they do, then it's fuck you pay me I could do this forever and spread words like COVID Before December, I part of ways with the old me To step up, my life is better Whenever I do, me no interest Intercepting I from the door that I chose to enter Cause there's less of belligerent people I know but who I hope is I keep my scoping with my eye on inside Pineal exploding Creating whirlwinds in the prism of your world Then watching the darkness peak Before the dawn the birth and process Major sacrifices I endured to get here What makes you think I'm stopping forever Bump until disappeared Let me make this clear 2020 is the year of star beings Gamma waving as the light is all you hear So get up out of your fear Yeah Make your bounce. This that shit to make your smoking ounce. This that 
shit to get you off the ground. This, that shit, that shit, that shit. Uncontrollable when I'm on beats like this. Yeah, I'm movable because I'm concrete and I'll break. I'm suited to. No my cars be no fix. We moving groove. My army well equipped. You see it when I spit. I'm the nemesis of this era. Heavyweight and you a feather. You ain't never rock the set like melody and you won't ever. You can't measure. My rhythm is raw. Bougie fella. Tripping off. Getting lost in the music. Hip hop essence. With that boom back bounce. I move that crowd. Move. Teach you on count. How my crew get down. Yeah. Moving round till girls out the gown. Tired of the background, so I'm out for the crown. Not out for the cloud, I guess I'll see you later. Writing on paper, my develop nature. See you fakers. Raise your hands if you vibe and take a stance like people are riding. If you're down on the floor, then get to wild. This that shit that wanna make you bounce. This that shit that make you smoke and ounce. Yo, this that shit to get you off the ground. This that shit that shit that shit. This that shit that wanna make you bounce. This that shit to make you smoke and ounce. This that shit to get you off the ground. This that shit, that shit, that shit. This that shit that wanna make you bounce. This that shit to make you smoke and ounce. This that shit to get you off the ground. This that shit, that shit, that shit. The track itself is calm but intense at the same time and through direction of the homies I wanted to portray myself in both extremes so calm and basically ripping your head off with the lyrics so you get both sides of me. What I love about writing for music videos is the ability to listen to the artist's music as I'm writing so it was really cool to be able to get the vibe and the energy of how the whole project would look and I think that's really awesome to have whether you are writing specifically for a music video or you are writing in general for any genre that you are looking to write. I feel like when you write with the music playing, it allows you to get into the realm of the kind of world that you are building. So that's what was really good about writing and using this as the inspiration. So as a director, I like to be pretty flexible with how uh, we move and how we shoot. Initially, you know, in our minds, it was going to be like, yeah, Lemonade, the Beyonce music video. We'd go around and just like smash different items. Realize that that's going to be pretty tough. Um, but what if we still have the baseball bat, you know, in it and you can maybe use it to dance and kind of using um, dance as a way to uh, metaphorically you know, uh, be destructive. We ended up doing a couple takes where he was like moving around swinging the bat. I was scared as shit because I thought um, he might smack the camera and we don't want that. So in, when we had the initial rough cut of this, it was quite repetitive and we weren't sure how we were going to make it look as visually appealing as the rest of the clips. So I guess it was just kind of um, cool when I just kind of through it to Darius just being like, you know, we kind of want to make it look a bit more animated. We kind of want to switch in between these two different worlds. You'll notice later on when we start to see more of the visual effects that there are two colors, Ian's power and his uh, eventual creativity and everything is purple. But right now everything is yellow, which is Ego's power. What I love most about working with Ian is because he's a dancer, he understands movement. He understands body language. He can visually 
communicate what he's trying to say in his movements, you know, peel, um, you know, uh, walk in, like little things like that um, definitely makes a huge difference when you're uh, portraying a message and I think it's easier for the audience to watch, easier for them to understand, it's like a different level of communication as a rapper, so um, yeah man, it's killing it. And hip -hop is what I'm walking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smashing the TV and like dancing with the small ass bat in my hand because it was actually a youth bat, which is pretty funny. I've never smashed a TV before, so that was the first time for me doing it and it felt good, but at the same time, it just felt like I was <laughs> weak in a sense because the TV wasn't just like breaking and smashing everywhere. As a team, um, David and I talked about how we could use a baseball bat and reference other music videos, but the TV symbolizes clout, which he says in his lyrics that that's not what he does it for. He doesn't do it for the clout. He's not doing it for the fame. And so that's what the TV symbolizes. Like still in the alleyway scene where I actually had to do, I guess, action role play with Kim was super fun and I, I'm pretty sure the take that they used in this video he like freaking just went BOOF on the wall <laughs> It actually felt like it was real like if I was to actually get thrown like he didn't really hold back in that sense and I really appreciated that because that's part of the role mate <laughs> Wavy flavored like cup pots, so tasty. Like herb, don't take the tops with words, so flavor some Portuguese. Multi dimension ill, a very personal track to me as well. This part is basically the transmutation of going through the shit. It was really fun to be like wrapped up and just sitting on the chair and acting really hard like I'm owning the shit, but still getting messed up by you know, outside forces, or in this case, it's actually an internal force, externalized. I, I love this scene, because this is at 02, this is in 01, in the studio. We just put the curtains behind, and literally I'm standing there, because we had a very minimal crew, um, directing whilst holding an LED light on top of hood and moving it around like this. I just want to add one thing. Acting as the ego was quite a challenge in the way that I was embodying an entity that was more menacing than my true nature as a person. So, yeah, it was definitely a good challenge, and I definitely felt like I grew as an actor as well. Let's keep watching. I don't know if you guys got the vibe, but um, we're going for a Reservoir Dogs vibe here as well. You know, the ego there is pretty much like torturing him. Man, the way that Hood plays this off the whole time and the way he's still performing, um, as this is all happening to him, man, props to him, bro. So, with this interrogation scene, I wanted to show what we can do to ourselves in terms of creativity and how an artist is likely to have self-doubt. Ego, I essentially thought before spiritual practices that the ego was simply being egotistical, um, thinking that you're better than somebody as well. But the ego also refers to when you believe that you are not as good as somebody else. That's why I made the character that I play, the ego, destroy Ian's work in front of him. So that book is his rhyme book and we are literally ripping out pages and burning it up because that's sometimes what we do to ourselves when we create things that we love. That interrogation is kind of in the darkness of your own mind, you know? And so that is why I love this scene so much. Yeah, and I guess like my motivation behind um, animating the text there was just, it was, it was straight more strongly like that this was um, a notebook with um, DMC's uh, lyrics because it, it, it doesn't come across as, as easily as it did in the script so that's kind of where you want kind of like visual effects to sort of help the story along and kind of guide the viewer's attention. This is a good point to really iterate that like the effects we do are cool and all but it's really nothing without good footage 
and like good cinematography, good acting. And that's all thanks to Ian, Kim, Misha and David really being on set and being able to shoot some really epic stuff. And we just apply some effects on it that emphasizes what's already really great about the footage. So that's something to really keep in mind when shooting and when you're applying effects, you want to do as much stuff in camera. And you see Marvel movies a lot where they green screen and visual effects everything, which is great and technology has gotten really far now, but nothing beats practical, I feel like. Um, when you think about like Jurassic Park and things like that, using visual effects to emphasize those practical elements is what really makes a really good looking film, I feel like. The effects just made it really pop out, like the whole image and like, ethereal effect that I envisioned in this scene actually they allowed to come to life which was super super dope it is I would say for sure my favorite like section of the music video just because of the aesthetics of it yeah just how like Kim comes through the alleyway and then BAM you see me with some freaking superpowers it was so epic because I didn't actually know how the superpower thing would look. And then they dropped this on me and then I was like, yo, I have superpowers right now. And it got me so hyped. It was based off Captain Marvel energy or Super Saiyan energy where the energy is kind of flowing through him and around him. So you see some purple lines kind of flowing through and we were able to use tools to automate that so I'm not tracing lines here and there, it's all kind of automated within After Effects, which is great to help save time. So this is kind of the start of when like, Darius and I would sort of like combine our VFX shots. So Darius would kind of like do a lot of the heavy lifting in terms of like the special powers effects. Well, I had more, more of like the eye glows and the, um, the, jacket, the jacket glows aren't too tricky, but I guess the eye glows were like putting, drawing a circle around the eye frame by frame and just like following it and then putting effects on it to make it sort of glow and just enhance because Kim was already wearing contacts on the day, but um, I guess giving that, that extra sort of juice to kind of to make it look a little bit more like supernatural. But yeah, so then it came to the point where we'd have to kind of composite them both on top of each other. And yeah, I guess the effects like worked out pretty seamlessly. Yeah, I'm movable because I'm concrete, not brick, I'm suited to. No make cars, be not fixed, we moving group. My this army portion really of the track was just my celebratory, you know, vibing high, frequency high. Like when I heard this track by Milk Crates, Shout out to him. This is why I love like all of these tracks because they have this bounce that is unique to boom back only And this just made me feel like ooh, Got my stank face on you know what I mean? This Song has such a crazy energy to it. You know, it, it gave me a lot of energy as well while I was writing The way that Ian reflects that through his movement is quite incredible It's quite incredible to work with an artist that not only is able to rap and create energy like this but also to produce energy within their own body and show that through his uh, movement as well. This last song is like the most sort of uh, music video -y in terms of like performance as a camera. It's why we changed the aspect ratio to more of like a square format and added a bit of film grain over the top of it just to give that sort of like that boom bap vibe. So another plus of um, <laughs> of having this um, changed frame is um, as you can see this, this shot's in the mirror here and then um, Misha, um, DP, is actually just like in the reflection, like right here. Being able to copy out was another sort of um, benefit of um, using this frame for this little section here. Shout out to Dom, man. These edits are fire. I don't know, working with him has been super dope because I feel like he just gets it and he's one of those editors that um, just understands rhythm and pacing really well. And as a director, like that's what you want. The way that uh, we communicate is dope and the way that um, he just kind of gets the vision, is like insane, so... So this part was super dope, so when I closed my eyes, it was crazy, I've never used a green screen before. They um, fortunately had a green screen there, and I was just like in my meditation, which I do pretty much every day as well. And if you don't, you should too. And then they just made it look, I was just like, it needs to be universal, of course. Um, because that's what I believe that we are. This is literally just me cutting Ian out, putting him into a digital 3D space, putting the space background in the background, some space clouds here and there, and some motion graphics. They were inspired by Doctor Strange and he's like magic circles and stuff. And basically what I did is just made one sequence of animations. 
altered the time a little bit so that like they would just jitter a little bit creating this really cool glitch effect and I just overlaid them on top of each other and it re created these really complex shapes like in Doctor Strange. Can you imagine what that raw footage looks like? Because all four of us were just cracking up. And also get up. Get up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like watching you like, oh this is really good. <laughs> when you gotta perform like that, you gotta be committed 100% or it looks more stupid if you don't. Watching it when they sent me the first cut, it was like, it looked low-key whack because none of the effects were there even though I could picture it, you know? Um, that whole process, like Kim was throwing himself into the wall and everything, that was tight. Um, shout out to him. Ooh, that logo. Man, I just wanted to say uh, thank you guys firstly for watching. Um, we made this for you guys to uh, enjoy and just be inspired by. It's just an honor to work with Ian and to be able to work on something like this here in Melbourne. Um, man, I reckon he's one of the top MCs in Australia, no doubt. Check us out, um, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube, um, follow Ian, uh, MDMC, check him out, uh, check out his work, we've got some more stuff to come, uh, leave us some comments, let us know what you think and um, I'll see you next time, peace. This that shit to get you off the ground This that shit that shit